Hey guys, this is our study and welcome to Comic Space and today we are going to talk about MCU The Great Reboot. Yes, you heard it right. Marvel Studios along with the Marvel Cinematic Universe that they have been building for 15 years is going to get reboot. We are also going to talk about Kang the Conqueror because Marvel Studios is looking forward to in Kang the Conqueror recast and we are going to see how much progress Marvel Studios have actually made on that front. And again, Kang the Conqueror is still an integral part of the multiverse saga. We have built the whole saga around that one character. So we have a lot to talk about, let's dive into it straight away. So our first update is coming from Daniel RPK and again if you have been following our channel or have been part of the rumor mill, you know that Daniel RPK has one of the most impeccable track record and we like to give him a lot more reverence than any other industry insider or outlet. So as you went on to state that MCU will only be soft rebooted, not fully rebooted and the new heroes will be present along with the Fantastic Four and the Mutants. So let's start with that and soft reboot. What that actually means. So obviously Marvel Studios is not gonna throw all of the stuff that they have built for 15 years. The continuity and the heroes that they have built and have put this much amount of effort and time building this whole universe, they're just not gonna throw all that in trash bag. What does it actually mean is there is going to be a, some serious amount of focus shift from the Avengers which has been the part of the Multiverse Saga and the Infinity Saga. They are going to shift their whole focus towards this new saga which is highly been rumored to be as the Mutant Saga. And it is also quite evident that the next saga after the Multiverse Saga it is going to be the Mutant Saga. So there is going to be some serious amount of focus shift and from that we are gonna go on to explore the mutant heroes and obviously the x-men and i don't think so after the avengers secret wars we are going to see any avengers film for a while unless it is going to be an x-men versus avengers or some type of situation like that because all of the heroes that they have introduced now they are for sure this going to stay and it is probably going to be the same 616 continuity that they have built up for all this year it is much more going to be about the mutants as the saga name stand for the mutant saga and along the fantastic four you, i mean you just gotta have them so the infinity saga i mean i think the infinity saga was basically the avengers saga because the whole kind of storyline every film kind of just concluded into that one film and the whole 10 years worth of effort and time that, that Marvel Studios put in the building this whole new cinematic universe, it all got concluded with that Avengers Endgame film. And again, the same thing is happening with the Multiple Saga as well, because at Secret Wars, everything is going to conclude and the whole chapter of Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is kind of in chapter 2, will be concluded with the Multiple Saga. But again, Marvel Studios have diversified the Multiple Saga so much especially in comparison to the infinity saga they have introduced different types of tones genres and lots of different storyline lots of different perspective into this world of superheroes alone and i think that's have been their ability to have this such of a ginormous marvelous world and again the diversification and the continuity that's always has been the power of marvel studios Unless it is going to be Avengers vs X-Men type of situation. I think that is only time when we are going to get to see the Avengers kind of in teaming up at that level of film like Infinity War or Endgame type of level films. Because as of right now, because the since that Avengers Endgame events have happened, the whole Avengers team is kind of in all over the place because we don't have any Avengers right now officially working together. All of the heroes that we have right now are finally going to get together in Avengers 5 which is going to be like 7 years after the whole saga has started. So that fact let alone tells you a lot about how Marvel Studios is perceiving the mutant saga after the multiverse saga and how things are going to work out. Because they have already started to kind of shift their focus and they have just opened this whole new world than just the Avengers we have street level, cosmic level and lots of other aspects that Marvel Studios is now exploring and shifting that focus. And obviously uh, with the baby steps they are also introducing mutants. I mean it is going to be the mutant saga when we are actually going to get to see a fully fledged feature length X-Men film and, and those kind of films where the whole thing is about going to be mutants. 
so we actually have been talking about the mutant saga for the while and it has been highly rumored and and now i think it is quite evident that's where marvel studios is going forward and we all have been looking forward to the coming of mutant in the mcu 616 it is still going to be a quite time before we get to see a marvel studios x-men film so i think that is the quite direction that marvel cinematic universe is going or mutant cinematic universe is going i mean that is what i probably call when the mutant saga is officially announced so moving on to our next update which is also coming from daniel rpk as well as you went to state that marvel studios is just looking forward to contenders for the kang the conqueror recasting but again there haven't been that much of a progress and it can take about few months more before we get to see a new kang the conqueror so last time we talked about kang the conqueror recast the coleman domingo name have came up just like when the major situation happened and just right after that coleman domingo name came up as the new kang the conqueror and again it is still quite early to talk about and think about right now officially officially avengers 5 is supposed to be coming out in 2026 may 5th so and there have been rumors that marvel studio will start production on avengers 5 at this year end which is i am quite sure that is not going to happen and avengers 5 is 100 percent i am quite sure that will be delayed till 2027 and secret wars to 28 so given that they actually have a lot of time so the thing is the thought of delay of avengers 5 and secret wars that i have and why i'm so quite certain because even if they are going to start the production destined Dana Craydon, who was initially going to direct avengers 5 just stepped down from the project to, to work on the wonder man series that he is developing for marvel studios and also the sang chi 2 film coming up he has stepped up and they don't have any director for secret wars or for the avengers 5 and michael waldron is writing the script for both of the films I mean we can talk it about all the about Avengers 5 release date but I mean it is just quite evident that Avengers 5 is just not making up to that 2026 May 5th the release date anyhow I I mean it just does not look to be that way and again given all of that I mean I think in every video I have said what about Armor Wars, what about Sanchi 2, what about Spider-Man 4, what about Eternals 2 and what about Doctor Strange 3 and they are also making a feature length a young avengers movie which is still in early development so what about all those projects which i believe are very necessary before we head into stuff like that well that's it for this video guys but before you go you can consider to grab the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the latest marvel or dc update thanks for listening to me i'm so glad that you guys got the time to hear me out thanks for listening to me once again this is your host adi signing off see you in the next one